here. Hey, I'm here. I'm gonna have your burger. Huh? What? They're not roaches, they're shrimp. Roaches and I do not like those. Or if you don't take those, I'm not gonna eat it. So you better take them. I mean, they're shrimp, baby. They're, they're, Who likes shrimp? I they look like roaches to me. <laughs> don't dare put them on food. Put it in your food. The little ones be known. <laughs> All praises be to the heavenly Father. In the name of his only begotten son, the Holy Spirit, call Allah, you love Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Wawah Hakodash. Right double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace, salutation to the hopeful elect brethren, faithfully and diligently preaching his word with fear and trembling. Shalom to the believers that subscribe to this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Alright, so you seen the clip in the beginning. Alright, little man said, nah, <laughs> them shrimp. He ain't messing with them, man. He said they roaches, okay? And uh, he's right, all right? And uh, just to show you how uh, similar they look, uh, because they're the same family, all right? Now, uh, let's start it off with this precept. Uh, Leviticus 11 and 9 These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters In the seas and in the rivers Them shall ye eat Okay So shrimp, man They don't, they don't have scales and fins So we're not supposed to make that a part of our, of our diet Right, shrimp is not a part of the Israelite diet. Okay, now you other nations you can eat whatever the hell you want to eat, but according to the law that the Lord gave to the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right, you uh, are supposed to eat clean. And the law in Leviticus 11, the 11th chapter, deals with. Uh, the foods that the Lord declared clean that we are to eat and the foods that he declared unclean that we're not to touch all right right shrimp are the roaches of the sea all right now let's look at that people won't eat a roach <laughs> People won't eat food a roach touches because they are dirty. Now you see at the top you got the roach and at the bottom you got the shrimp and they look almost identical, man. Okay. Now let's see what it says. Now this is just from a simple uh, Google search. Did you know that shrimp are the cockroaches of the ocean? Shrimp are commonly known as sea cockroaches for their type of omnivorous feeding an example they feed on the garbage of the sea as cockroaches feed on land waste you see that man <laughs> so what type of uh person you know that would you know eat roaches willingly you know, just pull up and start eating roaches, man. Okay? We, uh, we only, we only deal, I ain't looked at it yet. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm on the phone. Oh. Uh, yeah, so lock you for that. But yeah, man, you, you know. Esau Edom has turned everything upside down and made our people believe that um, these abominable foods are delicacies. All right? <laughs> but little man said, nah, man. I ain't messing with that. He said he ain't eating that, man. Those are roaches. Let's get this. Let's see. Uh, 
Ezekiel uh, 4 and 13 and the Lord Yahweh said even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles whether I will drive them okay I'm gonna read it in the NLT the Lord Yahweh said in this way the people of Israel will eat defiled food among nations where I will drive them we'll look up this word defile real quick and I'm gonna get ready to close this out you gotta get the work I was on a short break All right, so this is the word for defile. Strong's age, 2931. Tame. Tame. And I believe it's Tama. All right. The Ta and the Ma. Tama'a, maybe. All right. Unclean, impure, ethically and religiously. All right. Okay. Unclean. So we should eat unclean food among the Gentiles because we not to eat how these other nations eat, man. You know? We were given strict dietary laws and it was for our benefit and to be a holy people unto the Most High. All right? Everything on the earth that the Heavenly Father set up has an order, all right, uh, so that it can stay in a perfect balance uh, with the, uh, the ecosystem. All right, so you take out the roaches and the crabs and the lobsters and the bottom feeders that clean the sea, then you have dirty water. All right, so picking up at verse 10, and all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters and, in, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. Verse 11, they shall be even abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses in abomination. Whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. So you got abominable food being ate. Which when you eat abominable things, you become an abominable creature before the eyes of the Most High. Right? Let's lock it. Let's highlight this last two verses and we'll go ahead and close this out. All right? So this is uh, Leviticus 11 and 46. Uh, and I'm going to read it in the NLT. These are the regulations concerning animals, birds, every living thing that moves about in the water, and every creature that moves along the ground. You must distinguish between the unclean and the clean, between living creatures that may be eaten and those that may not be eaten plain and simple all right lord will you edify quam yasharala bob a ball rises real destroy confusion shalom peace to the lake shalom